Hey there! Okay, so my good friend Dr. Joseph M. Vitolo regularly does giveaways on, well, fairly regularly does giveaways on Facebook and such. And uh, he had a giveaway, and I typically don't enter giveaways, but all you had to do was like a picture, and I liked the picture, and I never really intended to win. But then I won. And it always makes me feel a little strange because I am in a peculiar position in the pen world, right? Because I review products. Now some people seem to think that if I do this, then a company will send me whatever I want. That is not exactly how this works, okay? I actually do not do this and get whatever I want. But in this particular case, I happened to win a giveaway, which again, I entered, I just liked the picture, thinking I would give them a little bit of interaction, and I happened to win. I just want to point this out, because I know that there are already some people who are like, it's Peary Brown, he won and he gets whatever he wants. Well, again, it is not that simple. But, to make sure that we're all on the same page, that is how this went down. I simply like a picture and a random number generator pick my number. This is what I won, the Pen Venture Conquistador pen case. I'm going to give it away, all right? I have not yet decided how, but there is going to be a giveaway. So keep your eyes peeled. Pen Venture from Emmy. Emmy, pen collector, started his own pen business, and he has now teamed up with a company to make this pen case. And I won one. Now, they are almost sold out, but that doesn't matter because you can win this one. Right? I'm going to cover this pen case in a bit more detail, and uh, that's all there's to it. Again, giveaway, not in this video, but there will be a giveaway at some point. Maybe Instagram, maybe whatever, but, but just, just check it out. There will be a giveaway at some point. I saw a strange pen case. It made me nervous. I put some pen in and my breakfast. No, that doesn't really work. Anyway, I felt a little weird winning this, but I have won it, so I'm going to make the best of it. Review it. Boom! Giveaway. Boom! And that's it. Let's get the show on the road. Okay, so the Pen Venture Conquistador, a handmade pen case made of Italian premium leather. It is very soft, I will, I will say that. Nice red stitching too. It also has nice suede on the inside, which is red, and I have to say, when I opened this for the first time, I got a little bit of a sort of 70s uh, boudoir uh, association. Ooh, baby, I will slip into your velvet. Wait a minute. That did not sound the way I thought it would. Um, anyway, sorry, sorry about that. Um, so, I was trying to do Barry White, and that sounded way more obscene than I actually wanted it to sound. In any case, let's just move on. So, we have that. Uh, the black and red is inspired by the dress of the Conquistadors. Now, we can have uh, a discussion, I suppose, about how favorable we should look upon the Conquistadores, but let's, let's not go get into that right now. There is a removable pen insert uh, and tray. There is a little magnet in the back there which is kind of neat. There's also a magnet in this thing. So this insert should stay in place. Now I'll come back to that. You can also connect it, not to the magnet here, but I think to the magnet. Where did I find it? Here, I think. To this magnet. Yeah, that, that sticks. So you can put it on there too, so it won't roll off your desk. But then again, this is a flat surface, so I don't think it would really roll off your desk anyway. The Conquistador is limited to 33 pen cases. This happens to be number 3 of 33. I'll come back to that. And you can have it engraved. You can have your initials on the corners, for example. Speaking of corners, the edges of the leather are treated to have them protected. And there are metal protectors on the corners here to keep them uh, nice and crisp. Which is all nice eye for detail, I would say. As to pricing, this case costs 150 euros from the Pen Venture website. We're without VAT. If you are in Europe and you have to pay VAT, it's 178 euros and 50 cents. Now, what you want to see is how pens fit in this. So let's start calmly. Here we have a Lamy Safari. Uh, let's look at this Laban Forest. We have a larger 
Visconti Opera Master. I want to see how big a pen you can fit, you see. Here we have a very large custom micata pen, which has a very tight clip, so... There is that. Here we have a Denitrio Mikado, which is very fat. And as you can see, that's about as far as this goes, and that will not close the pouch anymore. Now, I know full well that people are going to ask, so here's an Amiki Emperor. Now, the Emperor defies all pouches. I think that was my friend Simar who said that. It was a good quote. Oh, I can't take it out. Yep, yep, yep. Sometimes when it's very tight, it's hard to get it out. Now, um, there is this. This insert does come out, as you have seen. It's not closed at the bottom. The nice thing about that is that a slightly bigger pen can slip in a bit farther, which, which can be useful to make sure that the uh, case will actually close. And there you have it. So you can actually put in pretty big pens, but not obscenely large pens or super girthy pens. What do I like about this case? What do I not like about this case? Well, it feels well made. It's pretty solid. The edges are, are treated properly, the corners are protected, uh, the, the little engraving of the nib is kind of cute, that's the, uh, the Pen Venture logo. Uh, I, uh, I, the, the red velvet is, is oh sorry, the red, um, uh, not, not velvet, we call this suede, is, is definitely interesting. It, I, it does feel like it would really protect your pens, it is, it is very nice and soft, so I do really like that. And it holds six pens. Now you can use you can add another pen, of course, not a, a... Here, let me take something a bit smaller. If you have something a little smaller like this Leonardo Momento Zero, you can, of course, utilize the side, right? There is space. You cannot really put pens in between these loops. There's not enough space to push something down between the loops. But, especially with some smaller pens, you could put them in between there, if you don't mind your pens hitting each other a little bit, or touching each other a little bit, and your, your pouch will close. Now you can see there's quite a bit of a gap there, so if you do this all the way to the end, I'm not sure how well the pouch would still close, but in principle, you can fiddle around a little bit and put in some more than six pens. That's what I was trying to get at. There is space for larger pens, but not obscenely large pens. Uh, Delta Roma Imperiale, another nice example. It's It's... It will fit, but it is very, very, very tight, and your case will not close anymore. So, that is not that great. Well, I mean, I shouldn't say that's not, that, that sounded negative. The, the case is simply not designed for massive oversized pens. Right? You have to be realistic. So, that's just the way it is. Okay, what do I not like about it? Let me just take a sip of tea. And we continue. What do I not like? It's not cheap, right? 178.50 within Europe or 150 euros outside of Europe uh, is not cheap. But on the other hand, it is a limited edition product. I will come back to that. But most importantly, it is a leather product. And handmade, you pay for that. And leather, good leather, you will pay for. So uh, this is uh, an issue uh, that I do think you have to be realistic about. A good leather product will, will set you back some dollars. Uh, the inscription and the suede, this is something I, I did not like so much. Gets a little messy, I found. Uh, if you do this, it, it, it gets a little, uh, in my mind, a little grimy looking. So I, I personally could have lived without this enormous inscription, but uh, I was not the, 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 the creative designer behind all this, of course. Another thing that I found a bit of an issue, and this is a very pragmatic issue for me, so this, this insert is held in place by this magnet in the back, uh, which I, am not, I haven't actually tried if you can make this snap back with the magnet. No, you can't. Okay. My issue is, is that, you see, I'm, I'm, I have, I, I granted I have a, a bigger pen here, but I'm trying to pull this out of the case, and I have to hold the case here, and kind of squeeze it down, because if I don't, I will just pull out the entire insert. Is it a big deal? Well, that depends, up to you. I do not really like this. I could have lived very, very well with this insert being a permanently affixed item, so that I could just pull out a pen whenever I wanted to, because I do not really see the added benefit of taking this out and putting this down. Uh, to me, that doesn't work. But of course, your mileage may vary. Maybe to you, that is a brilliant and very useful design feature. I do not use my pen cases in that way. So, for me, that doesn't really matter. Okay, final thing I wanted to say was, I personally don't really care for limited editions that much. It doesn't matter whether it's pens or anything else. 
I am not really sure how I feel about having a limited edition pen case. It, it, it's a pen case. It's, it's leather. It's not like this material has run out in the world and we, we, we cannot reproduce this anymore. I don't really see the, the added benefit of, of making this a limited edition. But of course that could be a business decision and I'm, I'm, not, I'm not involved with, with pen venture. So I don't know what exactly what, what thought process went into that. Uh, I, I, I don't really feel, I don't know, I, I'm not sure about this type of decision. It, it makes it feel a little bit to me like this is a way to, to drive the price and say, well, you know, it's limited edition, so there's, there's only 33 of these. And again, I'm not saying that that was the consideration. All I'm saying is I am, I'm not sure about how I feel about that. That is all. That's it. So, as I said, the pen case will be given away. It does not come with contents, unfortunately, for the winner. I have not yet decided how to give this away, but I will give it away. Keep your eyes peeled. Probably I'm thinking something on social media like, like Instagram, but um, you'll, you'll know when the time comes. That's all as to it. I hope this was useful. Thanks to Joe for being so generous and, and doing all these giveaways. That's, that's really very sweet. Guys, I hope this was useful, and uh, I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye.